This is the first time that the Brothertons have ever incubated eggs. This is the first time that the Brothertons have ever done anything. Are you yawning during my intro segment? So these are the eggs that we're gonna get. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I want. I'm about to lose control <laughs> and I think I like it. That's a little over. Slightly over dramatic than what I was expecting. I, I think I am that excited. Yes, I'm thrilled. I think getting eggs that we hatch is a more ethical way to grow or add to your flock. And I think that um, it's gonna be really fun just to watch them. Like, I can't wait to get them as they're forming and then candle them. And, and I just think it's gonna be cool to watch them. They're gonna be getting a whole experience we never could have given them before. And this is pretty awesome. We've thought about chickens for a really long time, but where we lived before, we couldn't have them. So, come home, little baby. How are you excited about the color eggs? That's amazing. They're like all Easter eggers. Well, I guess. when you talk to her on the phone, you, she said um, they'll be mostly green eggs, and I just thought, green eggs and ham. <laughs> And then you see like that it's not just, it's just- It's gonna be a, beautiful. Cool. So Instagram worthy. Where are my shoes? There they are. Hey, Mr. Cool remote. Mr. Cool thing, this works. Yeah, can you get it, Allie, can you get her a napkin? You're covered in strawberries, girl. Okay. Chip, we're gonna go get chickens. These are chickens for you not to eat. Okay, so we are at uh, the husband's place, work, to get the eggs. Hopefully, and I'm here with here. the three little kids. These are only costing us like $8 a dozen, so we're really excited, and hopefully they work. Get the run, run, run eggs to the mouse and her. He's talking about simple. All right, so that was pretty easy. We got the eggs. They look the same. They look a little different than what? Yeah, I don't think they're the same ones. No, so what she sent, they're not the same ones. So that's a bummer. But I, I think, but I think they're still fertile and they'll be good. I think they're gonna be pretty and we're gonna be excited about it. So this is what Chippy does every time we get home. He guards the porch. So good. Hey, bud. Give me. Hey, bud. Hey. Hi, bud. Say hi. Hi. You ready to do the eggs? I, Chicky, I, chickies. Chicky. You got the hiccups? I'm treating these like a bomb. Ollie, get your shoes. He's going to eat your shoes. She sent us a picture that's and not. These are totally different. Yeah. They're not the eggs. That... They're not no, this picture. It's like an Instagram photo. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. They are, aren't they? No, they're happy eggs. I know, I'm just saying it's cool. Ooh! I love this kind of greenish, tannish, grayish one. That's so pretty. I love it. Let's not touch them yet. So she lady? gave us more than two dozen, so. What are we gonna do with them? Uh, I guess, we, I don't know. Can you know. eat them? I think we just pick the pretty ones that you want, and yes, you can eat them, yes. She said that. Ooh, I love this dark I know, one. I know, I wish. This one. I think this one's beautiful. All of the babies are sleeping. They're all sleeping. They'll lay more. And, I I, mean, and some of these might be roosters, and that's how we make more. Oh, of course. Yay! Well, just rooster. The other one will be... Dinner? Yes. <laughs> I highly advise, if you build a white kitchen, don't buy a black dog. We should read instructions. I envision us cooking these eggs on accident. Oh, and then totally. all we have is just rotten, smelly eggs. So, this is the very first time that the Brothertons have ever hatched incub... Well, we're not hatching eggs yet. We're just incubating eggs. This is the first time that the Brothertons have ever done anything... Are you, are you yawning during my intro segment? Not a bad thing. It doesn't reflect my enthusiasm over this project. This is the first time that the Brothertons have ever done anything that has to do with chickens. We're getting chickens, people. Are you so excited? Are you? Finley. I'm excited. 
Wait, was that? No, Which way is the? I think that's the pointy. All right. Step one: identification of parts. So we got lazy, and we got the one that was recommended at Tractor Supply. Um, this is the Nurture Right 360. How is that even lazy? I mean, no. We didn't get it at Amazon. We're resourceful. We'll put the Amazon link down below because I don't hate money. But um, we got it at Tractor Supply. And it was actually cheaper at Tractor Supply. I don't know if that's, is that just sit on there? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Then again, what do we even know? How do we even know if we're doing it right? We, we are not. I am going to go to Jen at Sunshine Farms New York and check out what she did with hers. Because she just did this. Did it work? A few weeks ago. Did she hatch Yeah. Them? She and hatched, they I think she hatched all of them. That's awesome. So identification of parts. It's kind of just one big part. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn. How do you open it? I think it's a whole thing. Incubating your eggs. Know how to open it. Take off the tape. Ah! Don't incubate eggs that are edible when you're hungry. Dude. Now I just want to eat eggs. Aha! There we go. Wow, it's kind of fearful that it comes off that easily. Egg it's all like there, so it's already, it's all installed, so. If they're saying you gotta like take it off, why don't you? That's the one thing that I've learned about all the videos that I've watched, is incubators have so many cords that plugs into this thing. So you have the egg turner that plugs into this. Yeah. So just two. I say it's a lot. And then power supply. Maker. Upon plugging it in, the timer will immediately begin to count down from 21, oh cool, from 21 days, so it reminds you of the days. That'll be fun to watch. The temperature will gradually increase to 99.5. Okay, so it starts you on day one and then does all the work? It's like a Ron Popeil Showtime cooker. You set it and forget it. The guy who wore the jumpsuit always? No, that's Jack LaLanne. Oh, that guy was cool too. Why are you saying they were cool? You don't think they were cool. I used cool. to watch those you things all the time when out. I was a kid. Doesn't Why? Were they not cool? cool? Put not down really below, cool. what was your favorite infomercial when you That's were a kid? That's not what you asked. You said they were cool and they were not cool. <laughs> but I do want to know. Put down in the comment below, what was your favorite infomercial as a kid? Mine was the uh, George Foreman. ShamWow. It says, after all the setting is complete, Press menu button once more to exit the setting mode. The incubator will start to run per the new setting you adjusted. Egg turning test run. Oh, you have to put water in it. Yeah. Oh, there's a candler. That's yeah. cool. So it's got a built-in yeah. candler. Is that anything? <gasps> Ooh. Is that it up there? Is that what's happening up here? I don't know. That's really neat. Like. That's cool. I was built in. All right. So it says. Egg turning test run. Pre uh, press once, like both. Oh, okay. So to do a test run for that, I just hit the plus and the minus at the same time. Well, well there's here. a backside, babe. Well, let me keep it in. It looks like. You just put it in once, and then you put it in again three days before it's due to hatch. So at day like 18. Increase removing. Hatching cycle. By removing the red plug and adding both. Yeah, but where does it say to put the red plug? No, you don't have to put that over the. Do you put it over the water pot? Oh! Okay, so this little red thing, I guess that's for, um to keep the humidity from escaping out. Put them in. Yeah. And I don't think you're supposed to wipe, like we can wipe them off a little bit. I think you're want, right, I don't know why I, we would. But they're mostly clean, like that one's a little poopy here. Poopy like it can hurt the hatching rate, I guess. Unfortunately, they they are pretty. They're not quite as cool as we were thinking. Um, These are yeah. like a fun, look how they're not quite white. That's yeah. really pretty. Oh, they next are neat. The no, they're they're still they're not. None of these are the boring Walmart white eggs. Um, I'm pumped. Let's do it. Okay, Jen. Okay. 
Gently, oh, gently put it in, pointy facing the inside. Cool. Good job. Okay. Facing the inside. Good job. Okay, oh, Ella's turn. Really Ella's Ella turn. might not be able to reach. Gently set it down. Perfect. Is the pointy facing the inside? The little red thing is like a cap that you put over the other side so it doesn't look like it. looked like a flower. Yes. Ooh. Oh, careful. water in first? Uh, or do we plug it in and then pour the water? That was the steps. Birthday! Thank you! Hi! Okay, so now I think we plug it in and then we put water in that little A pot. I like how they call that a pot. All right, so hopefully in about 21 days, we'll be getting little baby chicks coming out of here. But tonight, 8 p.m. Central, we're talking about essential oils. One of our number one questions, are essential oils safe for kids? So come and join us, hang out. We'll see y'all then. Chickies! Oh, also I have sauerkraut trying, trying to do sauerkraut. It exploded on me earlier.